Hi, in this video, I'd like to talk about a very rare form of uterine malformation we know as uterine didelphis. This is a very rare form of uh, uterine malformation. Only uh, one in every 2,000 women will experience this uh, malformation. And it manifests itself in the, in the way where uh, the patient has two uterine cavities and two cervix. So basically, it means double uterus and double cervix. Now, this uh, usually happens uh, when there is a defect in the Mullerian ducts fusion during uh, the fetus development. During week 6 to week 20 during this period, uh, this is where the Mullerian ducts will fuse together to form a normal uh, uterus with a normal cervix. So there must be some defects, some problem that happened at this stage and then causing the the baby to be born with this condition with having two uterine cavities and two cervix so once again i'd like to reiterate that this condition is a congenital condition you are born with it however there are treatments for it so do not worry so symptoms for this type of condition uh, usually includes uh, maybe heavy bleeding uh, during menses severe menstrual cramps uh, several miscarriages if you had a uh, pregnancies because uh, having a uterine diadelphis it will be very difficult to sustain the pregnancy for long term uh, because of the limited uh, uterine volume uh, on each side that exists a very uh, suboptimal for a healthy pregnancy to uh, develop properly so for diagnosis for this condition we will generally be using two key tests First of all, is an ultrasound, and then the second one is a Haze SG, which is a hysterosalpingograph, which is an X ray of your uterus. So, both of these imaging will tell us uh, what exactly is your shape and what are your defects of your uterine shape and uh, volume. Once accurately diagnosed, treatment will include our anti specialized uh, uterine expansion surgery, where we will uh, unify these two. Uh, uterine cavities into one by expanding it merging it first and then expanding it into a normal healthy pear shape size so this surgery will you will be using a uh, hysteroscopy and also a laparoscopy together and then we will also place a pear shape intrauterine stent to support the recovery process and together with this process we will also use our bioadhesion uh, barrier to promote the recovery for the patient so once patient is fully recovered, uh, in two to three months, patient will be then uh, come back again for a, a diagnosis and a checkup. Then she can go for a pregnancy and a full term, uh, full term one as well. Then she can also have healthy babies uh, in her pregnancy. So if you'd like to find out more information about treatment for uterine diadelphis, please leave me a comment down below, or you can visit our website for more information.